Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I'm going to answer you the most asked question. How do you price your alterations? So, to price your alteration, you just need to know what will be a first salary per hour for a tailor, and then you will add the operative cost per hour, and you can add a little bit of markup price too, and then all together, you will multiply for the time that take to do the alteration and service the customer in hours. And that's it. So let's break this down. I have this special number 2850 that I multiply by the time the job takes. This gives me the minimum price. It's a pretty standard reference in Canadian dollar where I am in Ontario. Later on, I'll show you how to calculate yours. But now, let's talk about time. In the formula, we need to know how much time it takes to do any alteration. This varies from job to job and from tailor to tailor. Some tailors are very fast and good, and some are not that fast. I'm going to put a list of the time that takes for the most common job. Here it is. Feel free to screenshot this. As well, another time that most of the people don't consider is the customer service time. Let me show you a typical interaction with the customer. Hi. Hey, how are you? Oh, miserable. I know. It's so bad outside. I know. And do you hear? No, what? It's supposed to snow 12 inches tonight. 12 inches? Yeah, mm. yeah. When are you going home? When do you get home? I'm here until 6. 6? Okay, yeah. I heard it's supposed to start like after 8, so you should oh. be able to get home safe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How can I help it today? Okay, well, I have these jeans, mm -hmm. and um, I would like them to be hand -pieced. Oh, sure. Have you washed them? Uh, no, but they're new. Uh, yes, I know, I know. That's why I'm asking you, because sometimes when you wash them the first time, they tend to shrink a little bit. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, but I, I have many others like these, so it should be fine. Okay, uh, so you, you want to take the risk? No problem? <laughs> okay, well, either way, you know, these are uh, Japanese raw denim, mm -hmm. so I'm not really going to be washing them. Yeah. I think instead I'm just going to put them in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, that I know. Okay, so, you know, like a... But just remember that if you have to wash them for some reason, like if they get a stain or something, don't put them in the dryer. <laughs> no, no, I won't. Okay. <laughs> Do you need to go in the changing room and try them on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. please. That'd be okay. good. Yeah, you can go. Oh, okay, I think I should probably just take off these boots first, right? Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know how it Thank is. you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, it's so messy outside. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's just right yeah, here? Yeah, it's just right there. Yeah. Then the customer goes to get change, then she comes out and we pin her according to her preference. She will get change again and then we do the checkout where we choose a pickup time and do the payment. As you can see, the customer was really nice and it was a genuinely pleasant interaction, but it is still took time. In fact, for a short job such as him, the customer service time take way more in proportion. Whereas with bigger jobs, 10 minutes is not as much. You see guys, that's a normal interaction between a customer, this is regular every, all the time we have those kind of things. And here I had a new customer in. Each interaction counts. On busy days, I can barely get to sew. It's why we need to consider this time too. Actually, let me tell you that I'm not an expert in this field, but I have owned my business for more than 10 years now, and I have seen many business popping out and going down. Some of them, the price is too high. Some of them, the price is too low, which is the worst. Because when you have low prices too low, you will burn out yourself very soon. This is my opinion only. And please let me know if I forget something that is important and you find that is important. Please let me know in the comments. And now let me show you how to customize this special number, which is the first part of the formula. The first salary for a tailor is the most difficult question because what is fair in today's world is not really fair, right? But we can try to find an average of how much it takes to you to be a tailor, or you can Google how much a tailor more or less make. For example, here in Ontario, a tailor can make from $15 to $30 per hour. Some good tailors make even more. 
For our example, we will take $20 per hour just because the math will be easier like that. But something else that you should do is to check in your city the cost of living, how much a person have to make in an hour in order to live. And that will help you too to know that you cannot go lower than that because our profession is not that easy. It takes time, it takes experience. And people sometimes don't know, they are not aware of how much work is behind the scenes. But we know, right? So let's calculate the rest of the operative cost. Let's go with the rent, which is one of the most important. And if you are at home, working from home, you pay rent too. Okay, so that's count two. So I will put three kind of rent just because, you know, like if you are in a mall, it can go up to $10,000 even more sometime. A small place like mine probably goes for $3,000. And if you are at home, you have to say what kind of space you have dedicated to sewing. How much is a room in your city? Here is around 500, it can be 700 even, but let's say 500 for easy calculations. And then when you have your rent, to know the cost per hour, you have to know how many hours will be worked in this space. So now let's say how many hours you will work per week or per day, let's say. Usually, like if you are at home, you can decide your own schedule, but it will be fair if you put between 30 and 40 hours, which is the normal, but it will be up to you. But if you work less than that, you know, customer don't have to pay for that. Like if I say, oh, I wanna work one hour per day, then I have to charge $5,000 for a hem. And you know what I mean? So it has to be fair. 30 to 40 hours is good. Just to make the calculation easy, 30 hours per week, and then in a case like mine, let's say before pandemic, I have the business open for around 54 hours and it wasn't just me, I had some help. It was around 90 hours that was worked in this place. So in my case will be 90 hours per week. But in a big place, in a mall, they probably have two, three, four employees and the malls are open more hours. So you pay more, but you have more traffic, therefore you need more employees, so you have more business. Let's say that it's 12 hours per day, six days per week, six by 12, and then probably Sundays, probably eight hours. So we are talking about probably 80 hours, and let's say that it has constantly three people working let's say. So I multiply that by three and for a rent of 2,000, at least they will be working 240 hours per week. So if you can see, it's a relationship more or less similar. So now that we have hours per week, we have to have hours per month and we just have to multiply these hours for 4.28 because one month has 4.28 weeks approximately. If you are at home, will be 30 by 4.28. So each month you will be working around 128 hours. I'm not taking the point, okay? I'm doing the same calculation for a place like mine and for one in a mall. Another cost that you need could be electricity, material, or depreciation of the equipment, but this is really not too much money because you buy a machine today and that lasts you for 20 years. Like I'd say that will be, and I'm exaggerating, $1 per hour. $1 per hour is a lot. So if I pay $3,000 per rent, and then we work 385 hours per month, then we pay each hour $7 and 80 cents. And let's say if the salary of um, Taylor is $20 and we spend $1 more in zippers, thread, machine, mechanic services, we have a cost per hour of $28 and 80 cents. But this is what costs to you to run your business. Then this will be a number for a home tailor. 
and then this one in a shopping mall. And now let's pull it together with the markup price. As you could see, this is just a simple hem that takes me to make not longer than eight or nine minutes. But the customer service took me around 10 minutes. So we could say that a hem takes around 20 minutes in both. In our time, will be like 0 0.3 hours. So what you are gonna do is to take the 20 minutes that takes to do so you will multiply 28.80 by 0 0.33. That is the time per hour, 9.59. So that is what costs you to make a jeans. And then there is the markup. The markup is a little price up that you will put because everybody needs to make some money. If you don't add a markup, you cannot have people helping you. Like, it's just crazy. And then when you add your markup, you can add it from 30% to even 100%, depending on the job. So let's add a 30% in the jeans, 9.59 multiplied by 1.3, that will be the 30% and that will give you 1240, you see? In my case, I'm charging 1150 for a hem. So that means that still I'm underpriced. And you know, this time is the time that we have, and we have to consider that if you are at home or if you are in a mall, the times of customer service might vary. For example, if you are at home, the same pants that takes me 20 minutes, in your house, it might take you 25 minutes. Because as you are in your house, the customer feels a little bit more at ease. They wanted even to drink a cup of tea with you. You know how it is. And if you are in a mall, it's completely the opposite. In a mall, the ambience is not as cozy as it is in a small business or in your house. So even if this price is higher, the time price will be a little bit lower. That's why the price are more or less the same. Even if you are working at home, don't reduce your prices because in your case, you are not paying rent, but you are paying with time, okay? So guys, if you find this video useful, please give us a like. And remember that you should respect yourself when you price your alteration. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And if you need further information or clarification, let me know in the comments. Bye.